Hello, I'm Derek from Inflatable Sub Authority, and today I'm really excited to be able to review the Blackfin XL 6.0. Now, I've been wanting to review this board for a few years, so I'm really thankful to iRocker for the opportunity to review this board. So, I'll go through all the ins and outs, what I like, dislike, and some of my experiences with this board on the water. Stay tuned. Who is the Blackfin XL 6.04? Now the Blackfin XL is for people who are a little bit bigger, heavier, and they want a stable board for them. It is also a fantastic fishing board. So you can see with all the onboard stuff, which I'll go into in a sec here. It's a great board for if you want to bring a family member on board, or you want to bring a pet, or you could even paddle this board as a tandem as it has a maximum weight capacity of 485 pounds, which is on the bigger side in terms of inflatable paddle boards. It's also a really good adventure board. Now, I, a few days ago, I actually paddled for like four or five hours with a friend of this board, and we were able to put all kinds of gear on there for snacks and all that stuff. So this is really a great board for carrying a lot of gear and just having a good day on the water. Now we'll just go through the specs of the Blackfin XL. Now the Blackfin XL is 11 foot 6 inches long. It is 34 inches wide and it's 6 inches thick. Now the board has a weight of 29 pounds so it is a bit of a heavier board. So if you're a bit of a smaller person I do advise that you have someone help carry you or maybe you get one of those paddle boards slash kayak carts. And the board has a whopping maximum capacity of 485 pounds so it can hold a good amount of gear and it is also made of a triple layer PVC with carbon side rails and reinforced seams. So the reinforced seams I believe are new on this board so they're really doubling down on making sure that those the sides of the board which is usually the area that gets the most faults within any paddle boards they're really making sure that nothing can really go wrong with that now we're going to do the nose to tail of the board now this is going to be one of the more exact nose to tails slash detailed that we'll be doing because there's a lot of stuff on board so you can see there's a handle right at the front we found that when we were paddling it didn't get in the way of the on-water performance or anything like that. The nose is uplifted enough where the water, the handle doesn't disturb the water. So you can see this is a bunch of deck rigging. Now there are clips on here where you can arrange it however you like, which is pretty handy. So I do like whenever the bungee deck rigging has a little bit of clips so you can just rearrange it exactly how you'd like. I also really like this salmon design on there. I think that is just such a cool design and you get all the different kinds of colored salmon, really cool. So this is a handle, now these are child handles that a little one could hang on to while you're paddling, perhaps it's windy, wavy. And now this is an action mount. So with these action mounts you can put a lot of different accessories on there such as fishing rods, GoPro mounts. Uh, bone holders, cup holders, etc. This board definitely has a few of them. Next, this is the deck pad. So you can kind of see it's stamped with Blackfin logo. Go down the board here. There's a little mounting D ring for a kayak seat. Going. And now, this is a Scotty mount. Now these Scotty mounts, they can be used for racks, anything, so fishing racks or anything that Scotty mount really produces. So you just put whatever mount in there and then you just screw them on. And you can turn this into a fishing vessel or almost anything you really like. You can see there's a few more action mounts on the side here. Good placement for rods or even um, the spear holder that iRocker sells. 
There's another action mount at the back here. And then this is a rear bungee deck webbing. Again, it's rearrangeable. It also has rear handles so that you can grab the board from whichever which end you'd like. Followed by a handle right here. Now, to the side of the board, there's a little handle right here you can just grab onto. See, carbon side rail right here. And there it is. Now, this carbon side rail actually makes the board pretty stiff. And when it's folded, it's supremely stiff. I would know because I actually smashed my little baby toe on it. And I was the one that is definitely worse for wear, not the paddle board. So this board is definitely very sturdy. Now we'll just go through the accessories that come with the Blackfin XL 6.0. Now in terms of accessories, this package, just as is, is fairly bare bones. You get three fins, a repair kit, and then the leash. Now, they do this, I'm sure, because of inflation, etc. Things are a lot more expensive these days. But you can get the bag, the pump, the paddle at a discount if you order it from the same product page. So iRocker is kind enough to give us a bag, so we'll just go through the Blackfin bag, which is sold separately. This is the Blackfin Excel bag. Now this is separate from the package. I should stress that just so that you don't feel misled. So this is the front of the bag. As you can see, there's a nice pocket. And then this is the opening, which is pretty big spacing right here. You got the straps that condenses it. And then this is the rear. So you can see there's a good amount of padding here. Followed by handle that allows you to quickly get the bag from the trunk. I like it whenever the bags have the side handle because then it's just a lot easier to take them out. So now going through the pockets. See, this is the main pocket it opens up just like this also has lots of straps inside to keep the board compact you can see we also have a pretty spacious front pocket as well pretty big and then the bottom you got yourself a set of wheels and another little handle to grab, just kind of like a suitcase. Just to show you a little bit more of the bag here, you can see the padding is fairly thick, especially on the back, which is something I really do appreciate. So you have the black and logo here, You've got the padded waist straps. Overall, it's a pretty good bag. This is the bottom of the Blackfin XL 6.0. You can see there's a white background followed by the logo. Now I'll just show you how to install the fins. So first we'll do one of the side fins. The shorter side fins go to the front. The longer one goes towards the rear. So you want this little knob right here to go right in there. You want to open up this lever like this. And it just slides right in. Next, you want to close this lever like so. And then this little guy is a little safety pin. So you want to place it in like this and just put it there. I do it about halfway. Sometimes when you fully lock it, it's hard to get it out. So I usually do about like midway. Next, we'll do the center pin. Same thing. Slides right in, put it to the front. You open this little guy right here, slide it in. Press the lever down, and once again, this little safety pin you just put in there, and then I put it right to the middle about there. Now your fins aren't going anywhere. Now we'll go to the pros and cons of the Blackfin XL 6.0. There's a lot of things I really liked about this board. I mean, just 
first off the add-on capabilities of this board there's so much you can do with it i also found the board to be very stable like i was able to walk up and down the board pretty easily when i was doing my stability tests the board also offered pretty good tracking for its size had decent maneuverability scores as well very key I like the fact that the bungees as well can be rearrangeable. They can carry a good amount of gear, which I tried a few days ago, and that worked out very well actually. We did like a five hour power where we brought lots of snacks, um, brought a cooler. It was just overall a very good day and the board definitely helped with that. We also really appreciate the rack mounts as well, so the Scotty mounts. Allows you to add a rack on there to really make this a very solid fishing paddle board. A lot of fishermen really love this board and swear by it. Also constructed very well as my tool found out against the side rails. But it's a very well constructed board. It's good for a wide range of paddlers but more so towards the bigger folk. So people where a 10 foot six board just isn't really enough. They need something a little more sturdy. This is an excellent board to get. The construction is also very well made. The Blackfin XL 6.0 features two different types of warranties that are attached to it. There's a two year manufacturing defect warranty on the general boards so like PVC, etc. And then there is a three year warranty on the seams. So the seams being, of course, the side of the board. You can see they're very reinforced, carbon side rails, etc. So that's why they have three-year manufacturing warranty on that. They also have a one-year access accessory warranty as well. Blackfin XL offers a 45-day return policy. Now you must register it with customer service first for it to be valid in that time period. Now the board should be in like new condition. If it's not, then you will get a certain amount based on the amount of damage, etc. So it's very it's tiered. Take a look at the iRocker return policy info for the complete details on that. So is the Blackfin XL a good buy? Yes, we believe it is. It's a very good buy, especially if you're a taller paddler who has trouble with regular all-around boards, you want a lot of gear to be stashed on the board, or you're a fisherman who wants a lot of almost endless add-on possibilities to the board thanks to the action mounts and the Scotty mounts. The board also performs well in the water and is good for a good amount of conditions within reason, obviously. The only thing that we do wish, again, is that the accessories came with the package. So if you did want the accessories, they do come at a discount from the iRocker store. Thanks for watching my review on Inflatable Sup Authority. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. The product links are in the description. Till then, see you later.